is Phil. Today's project, what we're going to do is we're going to install Laticrete's floor heat. Oh, it's an electric floor heat system. Laticrete actually supplies us a real conveniently. We have the mat. It comes with a wire eye. We'll explain what that is. That's to make sure there's no faults as you're installing. Of course, the thermostat. And if you're ever in doubt, make sure that you read through and follow all the instructions in the instruction manual. First step is what we're going to do is we're going to take a damp sponge and just wipe down the plywood substrate here. Make sure that there's no bond breaking materials on it like you know, dust or any sawdust. Okay, the product that we're going to use to actually contain the self leveler is called edge strip kits. The material is actually a synthetic cork and it comes actually with a peel and stick so a pressure sensitive adhesive on the back. First step is to kind of loose lay them around that perimeter room. They come conveniently right out of the box and they will cut with the standard utility knife. This area here is where our vanity sits. So what we can do is we're going to actually use the kits right inside here. There's no need to use either a self-leveler or anything inside. We can just shim up the bottom of the cabinet. It saves time and it saves material, which saves money. Okay, after we've loose laid the materials, um, now we can just use the peel and stick. And then press it onto the plywood. Notice that we went right over the heat duct. We're going to actually then take this other piece and go in front of it. It's recommended actually that we take three resistance tests that um, and we're going to do one as the box as it just came right out of the box. It's actually marked right on here what the resistance should be. I got a digital home meter. What? 47.6. And it says right here on the mat it should be at 48. So we're right within. Um, what we're going to do is just write that first reading down. We're going to do two more. We're going to do one after we've done the mat, one after we've done the self level. And then we should be totally encapsulated. There's no way that we could damage the wire not through the rest of the installation. It's very important to use a primer when you're using a self leveler. And take a brush, go up to our extra kit, and make sure you're prime the whole substrate. Try not to leave any puddles, and then we're going to allow this to dry before we put down our mat. Laticrete provides a, a tool actually called a wire eye. And what we do is we wire it up to our cold lead. It's got a sensor, of course, that alarm. If that goes off while you're doing the installation, that's when you gotta stop because that means you have a fault. Um, we'll turn we'll put this wire in here, we'll turn it back on. No news, no sound is good news. Okay, we're back from lunch. We allowed our primer to dry. We're gonna take our laticrete mat. It's got an actual adhesive on the back of the mesh here, so it'll stick really good to the primer. Okay, now that actually we're going to um, be spreading out the mat, um, we left the channel here in our edge strip kit so that our cold lead will go up to our electrical box. So by putting a primer, the sticky part that's on the back of the ladder creek will help hold it down. You can see how it's holding it already. But you can also then intermediately, you can use the staples. Make sure, of course, you never hit this blue heating element. Okay, after we've stretched out the wire, you can see we have great coverage here. We're just under the front of the toilet. We're not too close to the wax ring. You can use a hot glue gun here for any of the loops. We had to free wire a little bit here, so this is hot glued down. So we can just check, and if we need to, we can just glue down all of the little loops to make sure that they stay below the self leveler. All right, now we're ready to pour. We got lead um, level 86 is what we got. Um, mixed it exactly like it says on the bag. Um, what this does is it'll come right up to the screen of our edge strip kits. You can see that it will not go into our heat duct. So it's a matter of just taking your time and allowing it to flow. Notice how by using our edge strip kits over our floor heat register, it contained the self leveler from going into it and look at how level, how flat and level this, this self leveler is to our edge strip kits. This is definitely the best way to install a floor heating system by encapsulating the wire, giving a smooth surface. We're going to allow this to dry. We'll come back tomorrow. 
Okay, here we are, we're at the second day. Our self-leveler is completely dry. Look at how flush, how smooth. It, it flushes up to our edge strip kits uh, around our heat duct. Remember we said we could just take a, a simple utility knife and cut out our heat duct and expose it. The edge strip kits provide a soft joint between the solid surface of the tub, the outside plates of the 2x4s under the drywall. That allows for any expansion that might happen in the floor heating system itself. Okay, now we're finished up here. We want to thank our friends at Laticrete International for supplying our floor heat. They also supplied our, our thin sets and our self leveler. And if you have any questions whatsoever about the edge strip kits, make sure you contact me personally. That's phil at edstripkits.com. I'd be happy to answer any questions or field any comments. Now it's time to just enjoy this vlog.